Let's see if you can answer these 10 inspiring questions to strengthen your Bible knowledge in this challenging Bible quiz. Are you ready to test your Bible knowledge with some inspiring questions? I'm excited to find out how well you know your scriptures, so let's get started. Today we're going to have some fun and strengthen our Bible knowledge through a fun quiz. We'll explore some inspiring and thought-provoking questions that will challenge you and help you grow in your faith. Having a strong Bible knowledge is essential for spiritual growth and understanding. It helps us to build a deeper relationship with God, to discern right from wrong, and to navigate life's challenges with confidence. When we study the Bible, we learn about God's character, His promises, and His plans for our lives. We also discover the history of God's people, their struggles, and their triumphs, which can inspire and encourage us in our own faith journey. Furthermore, the Bible provides us with wisdom, guidance and hope which are essential for living a life that honours God. So let's dive in and see how well we can do. Here are your 10 inspiring questions. What was the name of the first man God created according to the book of Genesis? Was it Adam, Seth or Enoch? Who was the prophet that God used to bring the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt? Was it Moses, Joshua or Elijah? In the New Testament, what is the name of the first book which tells the story of Jesus' birth and early life? Is it Matthew, Mark or Luke? What is the name of the apostle who was given a vision of the end time? Was it John, Peter or Paul in the book of Psalms? What is the number of the psalm that is known as the longest chapter in the Bible? Is it Psalm 100, Psalm 119 or Psalm 150? Who was the king of Israel that God used to bring prosperity and peace to the nation according to the book of 1 Kings? Was it David, Solomon or Hezekiah? In the New Testament, what is the name of the town where Jesus performed his first miracle turning water into wine? Was it Cana, Nazareth or Jerusalem? In the book of Ruth, what is the name of Ruth's mother-in-law who became like a mother to her? Was it Naomi, Orpah or Rachel? What is the name of the apostle that Jesus loved according to the Gospel of John? Was it Peter, John or Judas? Let's see how you did. Here are the correct answers and some interesting facts and insights to each question. The answer to the first question is Adam. Genesis 2. 7 says, Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. According to Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, the answer to the second question is Moses. Exodus 3.10 states, So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Moses was the prophet that God used to bring the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, performing many miracles and wonders along the way. Exodus 14.21-22 describes, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The answer to the third question is Matthew. Matthew 9. 9 says, As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. The book of Matthew tells the story of Jesus' birth, his early life, and his ministry, including the famous Sermon on the Mount. Matthew 5, 1, 2 states, Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. The answer to the fourth question is John. John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. According to the book of Revelation, John was given a vision of the end times, including the return of Jesus and the final judgment. Revelation 1, 1 states the revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. The answer to the fifth question is Psalm 119. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible, with 176 verses that explore the beauty and power of God's word. Psalm 119, 11 states, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. The answer to the sixth question is Solomon. 
1 Kings 3.12 says, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. King Solomon ruled Israel during a time of great prosperity and peace, and he built the magnificent temple in Jerusalem. 1 Kings 6.14 states, So Solomon built the temple and completed it. The answer to the seventh question is Cana. John 2, 1, 2 says, On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus performed his first miracle in Cana, turning water into wine and at a wedding feast. John 2, 11 states, What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The answer to the eighth question is Naomi. Ruth 1.16 says, But Ruth replied that, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Naomi was Ruth's mother-in-law, who became like a mother to her and showed her love and kindness. But Ruth 1.20.21 states, don't call me Naomi, she told them. Call me Mara, because the Almighty has made my life very bitter. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. The answer to the ninth question is John. John 13, 23 says, One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus loved John, and John became one of Jesus' closest disciples. John 19, 26, 27 states, When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved, standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. I hope you learned something new and inspiring today. Remember, having a strong Bible knowledge is essential for spiritual growth and understanding of the scriptures. So keep studying and learning, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again for more Bible-related content. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and share your quiz results in the comments section below.